dear friends, we live in uncertain times. And it's all because of the virus, the coronavirus, which has brought lots of uncertainties in our living situations. But God is the certain God. He's the unchanging God. And today, I want to remind you that this God is the God who sees us. This God is the God who hears us. In Genesis chapter 16, we read about Hagar, the servant of Abraham's wife. Now we know that Abraham got her pregnant and when Hagar realized that she was pregnant, she started misbehaving towards her mistress. And her mistress mistreated her. So Hagar ran away from home, went into a desert. In the desert, God visited Hagar through an angel. And God told her that she was going to have a son. And that son would be called Ishmael. Ishmael means God hears. This is the God who hears us. And after that experience, Hagar said, I have seen the God who sees me, the El Roy, God sees. So God hears and God sees. In the midst of all these uncertainties and difficulties, God wants us to remember that he sees us and he hears us. You may be experiencing difficulties in your life situation, difficulties in your work. Maybe you've lost your job, financial difficulties, because your job or your work, your business has gone downhill. God wants you to remember that he sees and he hears. Maybe in the family situation, things are not going well. Your marriage is not going well. Children may be going wayward and may have become more and more intransigent, more and more difficult to manage and to deal with. God wants you to know that He is the God who sees and He is the God who hears. Maybe you're going through emotional distress for whatever reason. Maybe you have a loved one who is unwell. In fact, maybe you have lost a loved one. God still remains our Emmanuel, God with us. So my dear friends, during these difficult times, times that nobody can tell is when it's going to end, times that are so uncertain that we can't even get together in our normal way of fellowshipping as believers. Despite all of that, God wants you to know that he is your Elroy, the God who sees, and he is your Ishmael, the God who hears you. So raise up your faith, lift up your faith. Don't give up because you don't walk alone. You are not alone. You may not see God, but God sees you. And God will intervene in your situation. In Psalm 29 and verse 11, we read, The Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. My prayer for you is that you will experience the strength that God gives us. That you would know the peace that God blesses us with. So stay strong. Stay firm in your faith. This is not the time to give up because God hasn't given up on you. God is there. The God who is and who is not silent. The God who sees us. Our El Roy and the God who hears us. Our Ishmael. May this God be Elroy to you, and may this God be Ishmael to you. God has not left you alone. May God bless you and keep you. 
May God keep his peace in your heart and fill you with joy. Amen. So we sing.